What's up guys, in this video we are back with the Tycoon series. Last episode we went over how we made these rebirth buttons, but unfortunately you guys didn't really like how that panned out in the end. So we're back at it again and this time instead of using buttons and everything, you're going to be giving the player a cash multiplier instead of them just being able to buy different things with their rebirth buttons, if that makes sense. So this is actually very simple to do. First off, let's just go into server script service right here, open that up and then open up our leader stats script. Down here, we're just gonna create a brand new value. We're gonna say local rebirth multiplier will be equal to instance dot new parentheses quotation marks and this is going to be a number value that we're going to parent over to the actual player, just like that. Now we're going to say rebirth multiplier dot name will be equal to quotation marks. And we're going to say rebirth multiplier just like this. And then we say rebirth multiplier dot value will just be equal to something like zero for now. Because we're going to be changing that later on whenever the player rebirths. Now that we have this value made, we can X out of our leader stats script simply because we don't need it anymore. From then on, you can close server script service, open up workspace right here, open up the tycoons folder, and let's go over to our tycoon right here inside of our scripts and then our core script. And we need to scroll down all the way down over to where our cash collector is right here and then right here where it says player.leerstats.cash.value all of this stuff so what we want to do is just right here at this values.moneyvalue.value times two we just want to put parentheses around here like this and that will basically make this into one code block so we'll do the math right here and then we put another times player colon find first child parentheses quotation marks and then this is going to be our rebirth multiplier value so let's go over what this is doing here this is a little bit of math so it's getting the player's leader stats cash value right here and it's equaling that to the player's cash value that they already have plus whatever their money value is inside of their values folder times two and this is if they own that double cash game pack. After that, we simply say times the rebirth multiplier dot value that we have inside of the player because we want them to actually get that cash boost. We also say right here, we can just copy all of this after the asterisk, go down here, and we can just paste that right here. And that should work perfectly fine. And that is actually going to give the player the actual rebirth multiplier. However, there's another thing that we want to do for this. Let's go over to our cash collector right here. You can just hold alt and click on the screen and we'll go ahead and grab that for you. And I'm actually going to press control and L to change the axes on this. I'm going to press control and D to duplicate it, move it up a little bit. You can feel free to design this however you want to. I'm just going to be sticking this right on top here. And this is going to be wherever we share our rebirth multiplier. Just going to scale it down a little bit, a little bit in on the side, something like this. And instead of naming this to screen, we simply say rebirth multiplier. And we change the text labels text down here. We can change the color or something like cyan and change the text to rebirth multiplier colon and then we can leave it just right there. If you want to, you can make it so that the text label doesn't take up the full size of things. I'm going to make it so it's about 0.9 going crosswise and then about 0.5 going up and down. So that way it appears something like this. I might actually change that up to 0.7 for the up and down. Next, we can change the anchor point to 0.5 comma 0.5 and then change the position down to 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0 and now make sure it is perfectly in the center. Now inside of our script that we have inside of that text label, let's open that up. Instead of saying script.parent.text equals to script.parent.parent and all of these different things, right up here at the top, we want to say repeat task.wait until, actually we can do task.wait1, 
until and then let's go ahead and copy this line right here just right up to this values to the dot values i mean because this will get our tycoon actually we'll say dot values dot owner value dot value this is going to check until we have an actual owner value for our tycoon next we say script dot parent dot text will be equal to rebirth multiplier colon space and we say dot dot script dot parent dot values and then instead of dot money value dot value we're going to say dot owner value dot value and then we're going to say colon find first child parentheses quotation marks and this is going to be our rebirth multiplier that we made earlier dot value next we can copy this whole thing just all the entire line and we can paste it right inside of here for the function and now will go ahead oh we gotta put the end back but this is going to change the text of the actual screen whenever the value that we're about to put up here gets changed and then once again we're going to use that same owner value dot value find first child and this is going to be our rebirth multiplier and we can say dot changed after that just like that and this is going to create the new function for whenever our rebirth multiplier gets updated we have the rebirth multiplier screen right here that will actually go ahead and display our rebirth multiplier and we have it so the player will actually get that rebirth multiplier inside of their cache but we need a way to increase the rebirth multiplier. But so before we do that, I just realized that anything times zero is going to be zero. So instead of having this at zero, we just want this to be one. And now make sure that everything stays the exact same until we actually up their rebirth. So let's go into our rebirth script inside of our tycoons folder. And you can keep this player find first child leader stats dot rebirth dot value plus equals to one. Otherwise, you can completely get rid of that if you want to. I'm going to say player find first child quotation marks, and then we can say our rebirth multiplier, and then this will be plus equals to about 0.15 if you wanted to. Oh, we gotta say dot value at the end of this. Sorry, I forgot about that. And you can go up at an increment of 0.15 if you'd want to. You can go up 0.5. You can even go up 1 or 2 if you'd want to, but that's a little bit drastic. So it really depends on overall what you want to do on your tycoon. I'm gonna do like plus equals 1 just so we can see everything that's going on. So now we've got a way to increase our rebirth multiplier, we've got a way to collect our rebirth multiplier, and we've got a way to display our rebirth multiplier. But we need to actually save that rebirth multiplier so that the player can actually keep it throughout all the times that they save or leave their tycoon. So let's go into our save data script now, and there are a few things we need to change here. The first one is that we can get rid of this second spawn function. I realized how inefficient this way is in between episodes, so we're just going to get rid of that completely. And instead, right up here, you're going to say comma player.leaderstats.rebirths.value. That'll save the rebirths if you still want to keep track of that. Otherwise, you don't have to use that. And then we put another comma right here, and this is going to be player find first child quotation marks and that's going to be our rebirth multiplier right here dot value so this is going to save our rebirth multipliers value and our rebirth value and our cash value to the player inside of this one function now we have that taken care of let's go down to the bottom of our script where we load that in and once again, we can get rid of this function right here. The only thing we need to change here is just add some text right here. We're going to say tycoon owner dot leader stats dot rebirth dot value will be equal to cache data. And then tycoon owner right here, find first child parentheses quotation marks. And it's going to be our rebirth multiplier dot value will also be equal to cache data. And if I'm not mistaken, this should go ahead and save all of our things. Yes, I made a mistake inside the data saving here. I accidentally forgot to put these little curly brackets right around here. 
And this will just make sure that we save all the values inside of the value property right here whenever we set the async for our data store. And now I'll go ahead and make sure that all these values are saved accordingly. But then down here at the bottom, I also forgot that we need to access the different types of values that we put inside of our data store. Because right now, these are all just going to go to the first value or none of them at all. So we want to put these little square brackets and then one for the first one. This will get the cash, which is the first value that we put up there. Then we down with the rebirths, we do square brackets two because we put the rebirth second. And then down here for our rebirth multiplier, we put square brackets and then three because we put our rebirth multipliers value up here third right at the end here. Let's click the X button right here on our script. And now what we need to do is duplicate our tycoon right here, drag it into server storage and delete the old tycoon that we had there in server storage. And then inside of our save data script one more time, right up here at the top, we just need to change the name of our data store so that the changes will actually take place just like that. And now we can click on play here. Go ahead and claim our tycoon. So far, you can see our rebirth multiplier is one. And if we open up our player's service right here, open up our character, you can see that our rebirth multiplier is one. Let's go ahead and play through our tycoon real quick, such as buying the dropper, coming over here and rebirthing. I think we need some cash for that first, however. So I'm gonna grab that and try this rebirth. As you can see, we have one rebirth. And over here, our rebirth multiplier is now two. So let's go ahead and buy our dropper again. What's gonna happen is since we have 10 cash inside of here, it will double it because we have the two times cash game pass and then it will double it again because we have the rebirth multiplier. So 450 is actually gonna turn into 200 right there, if you see. So this is overall a super easy way to implement rebirths. I think it's incredibly fun. I really hope you guys enjoy this just as much as I do. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.